now that the engine prep is all done, we're ready to install uh, the EJ22 into the bus. So uh, what I've done is actually, since the uh, cherry picker won't uh, allow me to just slide the engine in, I've had to uh, get my creeper and put a board down and an old tire. And that allows me to just clear the lower valance here. So I'm going to uh, put this in fast motion for you and uh, you can follow along as we get this installed. Okay, so I'm actually going to reposition the chains because uh, I don't think I'm going to have enough um, give just in this small opening. So I'm going to tighten them up and uh, continue here in just a moment. Just like in the uh, pull of the air-cooled engine, I'm having to use a combination of the jack and the engine hoist. Um, with the transmission in, uh, it doesn't pivot like the Vanigans. Um, which is nice and, and kind of hard. So um, what we're going to do is, uh, yeah, just kind of work everything in. It'll, it'll go uh, just maybe a little longer than if you had the transmission out and made it to the engine. Um, although that installation is kind of tricky as well, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I've had to adjust um, quite a few things here. Uh, the way my rigging was set up, uh, where I'm pulling the engine up from, it's actually from the hatch inside, and I've also lowered the chassis um, so it's sitting on the ground. Uh, that seems to be the best angle if you're going to leave the transmission in, uh, at least with my equipment. You may have different results. So once again with the jack and the engine hoist combo, I was able to uh, get the engine in without too much problem. Um, I'd probably um, from here on out just start this way because I uh, can't tell in the video but I was trying multiple different combinations but this seems to work pretty well. So van on the ground. Uh, hoisting from the top section here 
can see right here, and then a jack on the ground. I have a tiny little jack just because it's a little easier to move around. And then if we come in here, we can see that we're just about mated. It's pretty hard to see, but the lip of the um, adapter plate is almost right upon the uh, lip of the bell housing. And we can also come from this angle. And we see that the adapter plate is just about touching the lip there. And we see a little nub of the um, of the stud sticking out. So looks like we're just about in. After tightening the uh, nuts on the four studs, you can then um, slacken the chain for the engine hoist and pull out the jack. And those four bolts will hold the engine in place while you um, while you work in the exhaust and the cross member. In the next video, we'll talk about connecting up the exhaust, the cross member, the intake, fuel lines, radiator hoses, all the options before we start the engine. So uh, follow along, and we'll see you next week.